Hi, uh, I'm off today and I wanted to do an experiment and uh, make a flower pot stove for this fall when I'm standing in a tent up at the property up there. And I did a lot of research on everybody that made these things and this is my version of it. So what I've got here uh, you had to wait to see this until uh, I take it apart. I got a saucer on the bottom of this can. As you can see at the bottom of the can, I've drilled holes about every two inches all the way around. If I can see that a little better. This has been burning about in use for about two hours now. Uh, I decided to go with the paint can as the main part of this because it's adaptable and everything kind of fits inside and it's a little bit actually a lot more safe than having some can open candles underneath a couple of pots sitting on the table or on the floor somewhere but uh, this is not the finished product. This is an experiment to see if it'd work or not. Because I was watching a lot of videos. Everybody, uh, There's a lot of people saying these things didn't work and it was a bunch of crap. So I decided to find out if it was crap or not. Well, I want... Let me see. I want you to see what the temperatures on this thing is. This has been burning for about two hours. This is the can, okay? It's not 160 degrees, it's 210 to 220, all right? This is the temperature of the top. You can see I've got about 230, almost 240 degrees up here. And I decided to go with this top one open so I can draft from these bottom holes and have a chimney effect and have hot air coming out this top hole. So let's see what we got coming out of it. Uh, 230 to 240 almost coming out of the hole. That's hot air rising. I think that might keep my tent warm this fall when I'm out in the woods. So I'm going to get my, hang on just a second, I'm going to get my super tool out here and I'm gonna pop this top off and I want you to see the I'm taking this down now I'm gonna stop it for the day the things gonna run out I'm not using a candle I'll show you what I'm using for a heat source after I get this taken apart now let me grab this top pot take it off and set it over here now I want you to look at this I'm going to shoot this. Look at how much. Almost 400 degrees. Underneath this little chafing dish I got underneath the hair. Now that's not 160 degrees like some of the other people is getting. This is almost 400. So, of course they couldn't see underneath because they had everything bolted up. But anyway, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to set it, take it over here and set it on the ground because it's almost 400 degrees. I'm afraid it'll shatter this table if I take it out of here. So I'm going to take this loose. I'm going to put it over here on this table so it can cool. And I want you to kind of look at what I did. I've got a, an eye bolt on the top. And I had a hard time finding them. And it has, the flame has kind of leaked out a little bit and got, but I've got a two inch pot, a three inch pot, and a four inch pot put together there. That's what I'm using for a plenum. And the flame did get out of the, 
bottom a little bit looks like so we're still gonna work on what we got for heat source I don't know if you can see down in here now I've got a like a chafing dish here down in there burning and that's I've got three pieces of old brick in there holding it but that if I've got 200 degree air coming out of the top of this pot in a small in a small area so my 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 uh, 9 by 10 tent this should keep it hot keep it good and warm I might even try to make a smaller one of these and set it underneath my tent cot if it's low enough to the ground I have to come up with something a little bit smaller maybe that should work with a, with a just a candle. Let's see if I can blow this out. <laughs> nope. Let's see what that shoot that flame and see what it's showing. Flame's about three hundred. Uh, it's four hundred and. Flame jumped around and got up to 385 once. Anyway, this thing works a lot better than a candle. So, I'm going to do some more experimenting with this. But I'm going to call this a success. Now, no, what I want to do, this was just an experiment to see if it'd work. I want to get another can, and I'm going to take a tiki torch bottle and screw into the cut a little hole and screw it into the bottom of this can so the uh, oh the, the the wicks just sticking up right in the bottom of this and then I'll support this uh, the plenum inside of that and I'm going to use alcohol in it instead of uh, whatever's in this chafing dish. It's probably got something like Sterno in it. And that should make it even hotter. So before I take it in the woods and try it out in a tent, I'm going to do some experimenting with it here and see if it'll, if it'll work or if it'll fail. But this one's been a success. And this little chafing dish has burned almost three hours and it's still got a hell of a flame coming out of it so I should get quite a few hours out of it anyway so this is my first look at the uh, concept of making a flower pot stove and it worked contrary to what a lot of people on YouTube are saying this thing worked good haven't had it it won't It'll be a while before it gets it's supposed to be up in the hunt over 100 degrees this week, so I won't need it. But a friend of mine couldn't believe that this would actually work, and I, there was a lot of discussion on whether or not it would work on YouTube. A lot of people were poo-pooing it, but I just proved this thing does work, and this is a lot safer than the other stuff other people were trying because it's contained, and you shouldn't have too much problem with it, especially if you can keep it up on something that keep uh, the heat away from the surface that you're on. I'll probably make some kind of a stand or something for this to sit on before I use it in the tin or elsewhere up there. And this would probably be something that you might want to think about making to just keep in the house because I've probably spent a total of, let's see, the, the bucket was $5.00 that base we had I didn't have to buy it the little uh, can of fuel down in there that was a buck at Dollar Tree that's where I got it from they've got tons of them in there and they're all a dollar this costs I think a buck 28 it's a six inch flower pot the four inch flower pot over there the bigger one was 68 cents and the little ones I found at uh, Goodwill 
I can't believe I found them because I couldn't find them anywhere else. But I found the little ones at Goodwill back on the shelf. There was two small ones for 50 cents a piece and three of the three inch for 50 cents a piece. So, let's see, 50 cents and 50 cents is a dollar. And then we'll call the other one a, a dollar. And maybe there's two bucks, three bucks, buck and a half for the bolt and the nuts and washers. We'll call it two bucks. So there's five dollars there. About five bucks for this bucket. Twelve dollars to make this thing. Out of the basic parts, you get you know buy a few extras when you're doing it. But Twelve dollars for something that will heat a room in your house. And I have no doubt that this would heat one. Provide heat enough to get keep one room in your house 60 degrees without any problem might not be able to heat the whole house with these but you could do one it'd be a great backup in case the power went off in the dead of winter and you needed some heat so hope you enjoyed this said i'm gonna redesign this was a test i'm gonna redesign this and i'll do another one when i get it completely done and we'll try it later that's all for now.